Hey, hello friend, and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. We're playing the Barvenkovo Vence. It's January 18th, 1942. After success at Rostov, an even more ambitious attack is planned at Kharkov. A complicated two-pronged assault is planned to take the city itself, while an exploitation force is to drive to the Dnieper River. A successful the Soviet attack here could trap Axis armies against the Sea of Azov. And we have to take Dnipropetrovsk. As a bonus objective. To um, get more territory at the end of the, the game. Axis forces hold the southern part of this sector securely. But intelligence shows weakness in the enemy center. Strike with overwhelming force here. Then fan out quickly to pin down enemy formations on both flanks. Your cavalry forces are not especially strong, but they can move quickly behind enemy lines. Use them to encircle nut fights. Following units have been reconstituted by staff after being straight to battle. And a Rostov 133rd tank um, brigade. 317th rifle division. Marvenkovo 0. Assume 2, so we have to, to break through here. Dnipo Petrosk by 9. Taganrog, we need to hold it. Saporoshe by turn 6. And G6. And Kharkov by 8. Okay, so we have to get there real fast. For no reason, because the enemy has supplies from Stalino itself. And then. Uh, we only get supplies from here, not here. Are you kidding me? I'm not getting it through this line. What the heck? So then if they take this, I'm... I'm screwed. Okay. Can't reinforce it either. I'll probably just have to switch that. Let's see. Um, first of all, as for the southern front, what are you part of? Southwestern. Okay. I don't really need to do a whole lot in this front, I think. Um, although... Let's just start with that. Um, let's build a pontoon bridge. And just jam those sappers. Oh. Now, I actually think in order to get Zaporoshia, I'm going to need some serious sapper detachments down there too. Uh, I'm going to purchase another one. I'm quite okay with uh, spending a bit of money here because I have so much prestige. Uh, I can do whatever I want. Almost. Uh, southwestern front. I'll probably... Do that. Mm. 
This is Southern Front. Now... I have one of those left. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, do, do I want that really? I can move it here now, but that's fairly useless. They could deal with being out of supply for one turn. That would give me at least the option to already do one on the next turn. Let's remove that. But... Um, Let's just at least put a few more units. If they take this, I would be in trouble. So I don't want to put myself in too much danger. Uh, let's just keep this there. And then that's it. That's that's all I'm gonna do. Alright. So let's start here with that. It's kinda sucky, but I do think I'll need to do this. And then, uh, what I can do, or should do, is the following. So, I want to get in there already. next to those but I also don't want to allow them to, to cross here um, let's actually put these guys in there with the, the better artillery I'll just keep these uh, locked up uh, tight in a way let's see how that goes there's supplies here which is good uh, I'll stick it like this that might not be the very best but I guess it will have to work out. Would I rather have a 1-1 one, one attack? Well, what I can do though, is let's see if I can... No. Um, I'm probably faster doing this anyway. Because I need to trap them, for example, by, by moving this way as well. So they already cannot not go anywhere. Okay, that's un unfortunate. Mm -hmm.
because um, none of those guys get to attack. They'll be cut off. And this supply still actually does make it through there. So it doesn't have to be the end of the world there. I think I actually need to. Uh, the the cavalry is more important. Uh, so I actually need to put the cavalry up, up front there. Um, doesn't matter. Get from southern front. Let's take your sappers. I'll put them on the cavalry most likely. Uh, the thing that I really need to do now though, right, uh, move you up, you up, you here. Good. Okay. They would lose all their movements. Um, probably because of those. Um, but. I mean, attacking there one for one is also not super useful. I'll just leave them there and then see how I can potentially exploit that. I certainly don't want them to cut off the rail line. So I would be... Uh, very careful at least in... Uh, Trying to make sure that they don't actually take that entire rail line, uh, that would be a very significant problem. Okay. It's a weird thing that I, I cannot put any unit in that tax down there. Right, and then next turn I can take that with relative ease, I would say. We'll see what they do as well, if they're, they're gonna cross, I don't know. Oof. They are. Okay.
I mean, that's that's really good. This is a really uh, powerful unit. go according to plan. If I do this now, what would I take? Their specialist. That, that, that's probably the, the best possible outcome for me here. their supply fine yeah I would have to think about that Two, three, four, like one, two, three, four, five. So these guys can also go and attack. Um, but I, I need some favorable attacks. I can probably only do that one by one. So uh, there's not a whole lot else. That I could do here. their sappers still have another one and you this is two one three three two three four two, three, five potentially Can I follow it up? So if I basically, I'd be I'd, I'd be betting it um, on a thirty percent chance. I don't I don't think I want to do that. Unfortunately, I just straight up I, I just can't. I 
they, they probably have something in there. Would like to cut all of them off at the very least. Uh, I can probably do that this way. For whatever it's worth. No, that doesn't seem great. Maybe it isn't, but I also want to keep these guys there as a additional force. They are getting it from this road, from up Kharkov. Um, so they are not likely to be cut off either way. Unless maybe through uh, through there, at least they are. Probably doesn't really even matter that much to them. Um, but I sure do need to prevent them from getting there. And I also don't think they can attack Barvenkovo at this point. I'm not even sure what they're trying to do here. I guess maybe just try to cut me off. I'd wager. Um, can you move in there? Even you cannot. Um... The um, I'll just just keep them in here for now um, this takes away some engineering which is fine In this case, um, if I don't get the overrun there, which indeed I didn't, that sucks, but like I said, it's more about exploiting that, that breach for now. 
Uh, no, that's actually not for you. And I want to move some forces down. Now, for these, I could use some sappers. Just jam them there. Sun from there also has nothing. Right, that really just leaves me with one final problem. Which is this. Loud, really. Oh, my God, wow! So then they're, they're going to recover. Oh, man, what a beating! Unless I do this. Why not? Okay. I probably don't need it in the next mission anyway. Can I throw it out now? What happened to the unit? Nothing? Huh. Okay. Well, that threat is gone then. Um, because that was a very serious threat. sensation. Ouch. Really? I wonder if they're actually on that hex. I'll have to see. Well, let's hope after this, there the majority of that attack is, is over. So. For crying out loud. Need to cut them off. Uh, I wonder where that supply hub would come, came from. Um, it would be highly unlikely to be able to, to cut them off here. I don't really see that happening. So they will certainly have 14th Panzer 
in action. Although, I uh, do think So there's a pretty good opportunity to snare 13th Panzer. Okay. The Godzilla attacks is probably not a good idea to leave it unguarded entirely. Uh, wouldn't wouldn't go so far as that. Let's at least cut them off. Like uh, oh, that will not cut them off. Do you think that now Tug and Rog would be safe? The fact that they also already dug in that security unit. Doesn't bode particularly well. I mean, security units are relatively weak. Yeah. But. This cuts off those two. I don't. Yeah, Karkov cannot be cut off because that wouldn't be fun if I could do that, right? Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I don't think these guys are very likely to move. But I sure do need to protect the railroad again. This is a pretty precarious position. And with pretty precarious, I mean, it's a, probably a death trap. Let's move you in there too. I'll need my, uh, my units there.
What's one down? The thing is, it also... Yeah, I kind of wanted to cut off Pavlovgrad, but now I can no longer do that. Right. I need to go and reveal that, too. Alright. It doesn't help. straight down then that's some serious units and the security isn't but the Viki Viking is Also getting real supply from there so the one thing that could still be useful is ah really it doesn't work like that oh, okay thought it might be useful then at least to do this uh, at the very least the armor group south is is blocked like that mm, not too interested in that engagement That, that does change things quite a bit there. Mm. It's also... This means at least they'll regain one less. Although, unfortunately, in terms of attack, it, it still doesn't actually help me. Um, sadly. So they will then not gain one special step back.
What's the point at Cav? That'll be pretty useful. Not oh, okay, another calorie. Yeah. But at least that wasn't an overrun. Huh. <laughs> Two more security units. I don't even think a 1-1 one, one is such a bad position there. Um, I can cut them off. They'll, they'll break out. But... Uh, it's still worth it, I think. Unless... Let's see if I can even attack them. I probably cannot, no. But um, I think at least destroying another infantry does mean that the AI will probably feel like they're weaker. And uh, I do think I can put that to my advantage. Even taking down these guys should help me somewhat in that endeavor. Oof. My goal is to make sure that they are not connected to army group south anymore either uh, hmm That's why I attacked there first, because I was afraid I wouldn't get the overrun, and indeed I did not. So I wanted to attack the more powerful unit. Um, how are we on supplies? So they get their supplies through there and through there. If You need to go there. Okay, so one of the goals is to cut them off. You certainly cannot actually go there. I 
lucky hit. Which also means I can pull them back. And then I don't need to go after them that harshly because I can actually prevent them from escaping here, I think. Because they'll be out of supply for two turns. Okay. Where would they get their supplies from? From nowhere. That's put, that puts them out of supply for a second turn, which I also really need. Um, Yeah, that's also important because now they they will be you'll be cut off. Um, no, no, ah, uh, no. <laughs> uh, that was not the plan. However, Go in here, block them there. As they keep their operations, and then once that I break, break that. Go 
gonna love that five and O. Oh. Um, I think they'll try to break out through there. Uh, they'll most likely not try to cut me off in, in that section. I think. Cutting that off also means that it's dependent on that now. So I, I do hope to be able to cut them off then for a second time after this. with those reinforcements though. Hmm. to be expected. Please don't reinforce them. So, as far as this is concerned, the only way I can break that um, yeah, it, it, it doesn't actually reach it there. Uh, I don't think that taking those hexes would help. But I do think it's uh, something worth considering. Uh, no. Do they actually get supplies there? No, they don't. You, however. Can do that now. Oh, 
Also, I, I need to take that by, uh, uh, by turn eight. Um, That should, uh, cause some uh, shockwaves in that direction. I don't need to, to take this right away. More importantly, they will not get in there. Not that I really do expect them to get in there right now. They'll be cut off for two turns at least. Um, so that is also good. Um, Yeah, so I need to take Kharkov in order to get the rail supply going even through here. Let's actually take a look. Sir. It's hard to see, but I think everything runs through Kharkov itself. you dead. They are part of the southern front. So... I mean, practically, I I had no other choice. Uh, than to do that. Technically, on turn six, I could build a pontoon bridge there that would make me allow me to get in there on turn seven, but that does not cut it. All right, it's not fast enough. Of 
course, had to be a three in the end. see there. Certainly dealing with that is uh, going to be also tricky. The fact that I mean, you're going to be out of supply for three, two, two. It means I cannot get it up. If I take Karkov on the next turn, however, I don't think they get supplies through Melitopo itself, but if they have a, a unit there, I, I cannot cut it off right now. Um, I mean, if units decide to hang around Stelino itself, there there's nothing I can do. Um, like, uh, I can cut off whatever force they have here, but I cannot cut them off from Stalino. And... Uh, Is that necessarily useful there? Um, I do certainly want to get my units out there. Thing is, is, yeah, I kind of need to stay here now, try to attack them again, and just hope to be able to take it. If they decide to leave Stalino into, I cannot imagine indeed. Don't seem to be going that well there, but I got it. What did I get? Transport. Okay.
The interesting thing here is that if I now push them off of Stalino, I, uh, Do not think it likely done now. Thirty percent. Eighty percent. No, I, I still didn't get it. How about now? 50%. Man, they are super lucky here. Another 80. There we go. Can I take it now? I, I should, yeah. Sweet. And uh, that should put all of their units out of supply, indeed. They could fall back on Maria Pole with something like these. They also don't really have that much to fight back with. I mean, they are not in a great position, but. No. How are we on points, by the way? Uh, 117, so not a lot. I have taken excessive losses after all. Uh, well, I'm still not there either way. Um. Right, so what does this do? It's just 0 and 1, 4 and 1, 3 and 2. Mm. Again, I'm, I'm going to have to take excessive losses here. They'll, they'll take it back. Uh. Got most of them, they'll be out of supply after a while. Uh, most certainly, I need to get them that way. Even a 1-1. A one, one. Ah, crud. It's something that I, I would consider. Um, Okay, well, I need to get rid of these guys, so... They also cannot reinforce the Nipple Petrosk. Now that I've taken this, I... Also, do want to create that pontoon bridge. Hmm. All right, I think I can wait on attacking them for a turn. 
basically what I now need to do is make sure that my, my supplies are decent. So none of these guys can attack. So I will also push forward now. As long as I don't uh, get caught off at that point. Let's move you in here. Also, I would then like to start using that rail line. I know that things are pretty bad here. Well, not that bad, actually, apparently. Uh, let's see. Because... It's still 114th. It's a disaster. Let's switch these guys up, too, because... Not that I think I can do that much useful, but... I don't need to hold Sapporoshi, yeah? Um, it means that with the cavalry that I have currently over here, I can move back and I will move you up. Now, what I'm going to look for here, there, these units will all be cut off either way. I'm looking to get this to three. It makes it pretty bad still. Given the state of things, they might even try to retake Kharkov. We're definitely also putting you in there. The LI2. Predictable. Okay, they actually didn't do that. Uh, they didn't even try to take that back. to cut them off that way they will now no longer be able to attack any time oh, one and two no thanks Certainly uh, do also have to remain somewhat uh, careful here.
That's also a no. They might not even have anything in Mar Mariupol, but... Let's take Pavlograd to ensure that my supplies run a little bit better. The, uh, the thing that really shocked me is that they, they didn't try to do anything there. It does mean, though, that this is just in a bad state. Sure. At this rate, I'm actually perfectly um, fine with, with doing that. Let's just move these further down just for fun. There's nothing there, but the uh, yeah, I'll, I'll deal with uh, with the supplies in a bit. So, how powerful are you now? Two and one. Um, also a two and one there. I've two more turns after this so I don't really have to force myself that badly I'll just make sure that I'll be in good supply and then I can continuously snoop off uh, some strength Taking the other bank would be interesting, but not particularly necessary. At this point, I also do think I can remove this entirely. And I probably should. Um, next turn. I'll be having this entire rail line as well. For now though, mm, you're too far. But I can gem a lot of these with reinforcements. these further down I don't need them up there anymore things are looking pretty good either way
No, that's that's pretty frustrating. Let's make sure it doesn't happen again. Or at least, uh, at least let's try to make sure it doesn't happen again. By moving like this, I don't think they can do that same trick over again this time. lost some steps because they were out of supply for too long. And next turn is turn nine, so I really do need to to, to grab them at that point. Right, I think I can, but I forgot about that. That was something. Let's kill them. Looking for an O and three. Didn't get it, but that's fine. Also, none of these units will be back, so. done. There's no way they can go after my supplies now. And I might as well In all different areas. Hmm. 
Really? What did they kill? I really, uh, must have missed something somewhere. Would be nice not to uh, get those uh, kind of rolls at the end, especially. But not uh, nothing you can do against it. Take that, take that. Cannot take these on this turn. No, oh, it's this unit, yeah. I see. Yeah, that, that was really sucky. And also unnecessary. I'm sure I can hold it because they can't attack. Um, The um, one thing I would be a little bit scared of is them deploying a security unit and then immediately doing something nasty, which is why I'm doing this. That might seem a bit weird, but uh, just trying to make sure that I'm safe there. Then... As for this area, Try to get my units over to the, the rail lines. For the last turn. No need to reorganize at this point. You know, uh, I'm getting supplies from there. Which... Means I'm done here. Southern Front. 
I see. I guess I shouldn't have done that then. There we go. Take that. And since any unit that I put here will lose all of its movement, they have no retreat, so it doesn't actually help me. No chance of a retreat, so I guess they got this part of Dnipro Petros. They can hold it. Okay. Good job. And we got Azov Mousetrap. Sweet. All right, that's um, the Barvenkovo offensive. We have one more offensive left, the Rujev offensive. It's the final mission for this DLC. I'll be playing it next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time, and bye-bye.